Hi, my name is Stephen Williams. Uh, this is Foxtail Farm. We are a 10 acre certified organic vegetable and flower farm located on Whidbey Island in Washington State, right in the middle of the Puget Sound. We are just northwest of Seattle, just south of the Canadian border. We grow just about everything that most farms grow. We're, we're diverse. We sell mostly direct to the customer. We do a farmer's market once a week. We sell from our farm stand located here on the property and we sell through our local food hub. But yeah, every year has been better than the last and we hope that trend continues. When I was growing up as a kid, I did not know what I wanted to be when I grew up. And so when I graduated high school, I went to college because that's what you were supposed to do. After sort of flailing around for a few years, I ultimately decided to major in business. And so yeah, after graduation, I got a job with a company that was doing manufacturing and sales and things like that and stayed there almost 10 years before I started getting the itch to do something else. So I put in my resignation in February of 2012, and that started the journey into, into this small-scale organic farming thing that I've been doing for the past eight years. Uh, so in 2012, I was exploring the internet, trying to find programs that I could maybe learn how to do this type of work in an expedited way and stumbled upon this program actually here on Whidbey Island, and it's called the Organic Farm School. It's a year-long intensive program where they, they teach you, obviously, crop planning. You do a lot of field work. You do a lot of classroom work. We did things like go to farmer's markets. We had a CSA. It's a good cross-section of basically what I do today, and we just do this on a, on a larger scale. So pretty cool program that I was fortunate enough to be able to go to. Farming on an island has its unique challenges. Despite being close to a big city, we are pretty rural out here. You get here by ferry, and so that just naturally makes the population lower, which is a good and bad thing. Uh, we're in business, so we need to be able to have an audience of people to sell to. And it's also a challenge trying to find labor. Uh, I can plant and harvest things and sell them all day long, but if we, if we can't get it out of the ground, that's always, you're spinning your wheels at that point. We have the operation split up kind of two ways in a unique way. We have the vegetable side and then we have the flower side. On the veggie side, we have three people working full-time every week. In the flowers, there's one full-time person and then her mom helps her almost every day. So at any given point in time, there'll be six or so people working here. We work really hard Monday through Friday and then let those guys take the weekend off and hopefully come back fresh on Monday. We only sell to people on the island. We don't market any of our produce off the island. We have a farm stand here on the property and about 50% of our annual revenue comes from that farm stand. It's 140 square foot and it's, it's a, an amazing little building of commerce. For the past three years, we've gotten deeper into the flower side of the business, and that's because Emily, who's been around with us for a long, long time, approached us about taking over the flower production, and we thought it was a fantastic idea. She has a degree in horticulture, so it really made sense. So we designated a corner of the property, gave her a little half acre plot to grow as many flowers as she wants to. Uh, she does a fantastic job. We sell them retail, she makes us bouquets, we sell them at the market and the farm stand, and then she handles the wholesale bulk side of it. She'll do weddings, events, and she does a fantastic job and we're happy she's around and we've both benefited from the, the arrangement. 
Back in 2017, we bought our first Caterpillar Tunnels from Farmer's Friend. Like a lot of people thought about, well, we'll buy a hoop bender, do it ourselves, try to save some money. Then Farmer's Friend started carrying them and the math it was just obvious that it made much more sense to buy the kit. And yeah, they've been something that has been a really important milestone for us to be able to grow things in them during the relatively mild Northwest summers. We've grown all of our hot crops, uh, tomatoes, peppers, zucchini. We're growing watermelons in there now. For the price per square foot, you can't really beat it. So we utilize the clipper system in our Caterpillar tunnels for all of our tomatoes. It is a unique system with a rod and a spongy clip or two, and it's the easiest, most effective way to trellis tomatoes that we've ever used. It makes pruning and trellising the tomatoes on a weekly basis a much more efficient and faster process. It's pretty sweet. Farming gives me a sense of purpose. It's something that I can do to make money and feel like I'm not just going through the motion. Waking up in the morning is easy because I'm excited to come out here and do it. And it's hard work, there's, there's no way around it. But the community that we've built from the people supporting the farm gives me a lot of joy. It's been something that I was nervous to get into at the beginning because I didn't know how well it was going to go and it exceeded my expectations. If I had to give a word of advice for somebody that wanted to get into this business, to, to do this for a living is don't be in a hurry. It's okay to be maybe a little bit older and have some life experience and work experience and maybe save some money to start. I think I benefited from not being a 20 year old jumping into this. I'm a big proponent of this line of work. I, I, I would love it if you know every couple of miles there was one of these farms. I didn't seek out looking for the good life, but we somehow found it and it's been pretty awesome. This is the good life. Hi guys, I'm Jonathan with Farmer's Friend. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see more inspiring stories like this. To learn more about our innovative small farm tools and supplies like easy to assemble greenhouse kits, flame weeders, and a lot more, check out our website at farmersfriend.com.